Right then, what we're going to do in this short video is just do a bit of a tour around the grade point selector. So this is the little lozenge up here, which has got um, my grade point in it. So if I just click it, it opens up um, my grade point selection tool. Now, I've got quite a lot of grade points in Connect, which is um, a good thing to show you how to use some of these filters. So they're all grayed out at the moment until you click on the grade point. So um, I've got my main, main grade point and then three comparisons that I have available to me. You can see that I don't have to fill them. Um, I can have just one or two or three or up to four. Um, and what the main grade point does is that's the one, if you like, that's the focal point. That's the one that's going to provide you with um, the most analysis. So, for example, in the student analysis overview, that will be the, um, the grade point that will be focused in on and you won't see the others. So... Um, Clicking on that then opens up my uh, boxes down here. So I can use these to filter if I've got, you know, uh, before I do that, just show you, you know, I've got loads of grade points in there. So um, they speak for themselves, I hope. So these are any grade points that you've added within that academic year. Then you can obviously filter by any year group that you've got added. And then exam or monitoring um, is a really quick one if you're trying to find your exam results. So if I just do that, boom, you can just see your exam results there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch. I've got a year uh, 13. I'm going to switch to a year 11. OK, so if I want a year 11 monitoring trend, I am going to select year 11 um, and I'm going to do from last year. OK, so 2020, 21. And if I just click down, then those are the exam points that contain year 11 students from last year. So uh, they're in order of the way that my data manager published them into Connect. So if I want the latest one, I'm going to go, I'm going to ignore the exam results. So I'm going to go into this pro tag one. And if I click that, you'll notice what happens is that it automatically chooses the three previous grade points that were published for that uh, year 11 group. Now, if I like that, beautiful. If I don't like that, then I can click and, for example, on this one and I can delete it and the rest stay in place. OK, and then what I've got is I've got the availability of that comparison grade point then to add anything that I want. So let's say I want to um, compare it to last year's exam results. So what I would do is I'd look at, so this is now going back to 1920. So I can either wipe that clean, which I'm going to do, or I can go uh, back the way to 1920. But let's wipe it clean. I want to keep year 11 and I want last year's exam results. And I can just click on there and it's added them in that sequence. So um, main thing about the grade point selector is then that it automatically chooses the grade points that are, are previous to that. Um, but you can then manipulate it. The other thing that you can do, if you don't like the order, you can use this little um, arrow thing to pull the order about like this. So you can manipulate it in that way. Um, and then the, uh, if you want to change it to, for example, exam results full stop, then I'll just click on that. I'll put on 2021 exam results and boom, I've got an exam result trend. And again, I can manipulate that and add in anything if I just click off the exam results and put monitoring on anything that I want okay I hope that was helpful thanks very much